Hey everybody, I'm Flaming Kong, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's right, guys. Here, let me lower it a little bit. Um, this game came out. Oh, look, I actually have some things here. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna erase this. So, fun fact, I never actually did 100% this game. I do plan on 100%ing this, though. Um, I'm playing this on my Wii, which isn't very far. You know, I think I'm gonna erase this one, too. I'm not very proud of it. So now it's like an empty file. I didn't even know I had a save file on here. Most of my save files on my Wii U, because I transferred. Um. You know what? Let's. Wasn't our Let's Play? I'm pretty sure our, our Let's Play for Mario Galaxy was Peach, so let's make it Peach. <laughs> Peach. We have Peach. Anyway, let's just start the game. So this is obviously the sequel to Super Mario Galaxy, my second favorite game. This game, however, I don't like as much. It's actually my my least favorite console 3D Mario game. So it's pretty much it's my second least favorite 3D Mario game right in front of 3D Land. Now, let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardust. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Wow, it's Peach. Mario, would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. Peach. So it kind of opens up like a storybook. And I'm going to be honest. I think the main reason I'm playing this right now. Also, everything you collect here doesn't count, I don't think. I'm not sure, but the main reason I don't like this game is because of how linear it is, but I may change my mind now, because I haven't played this game in so long. You can't actually go down this plate, by the way. Starbits rain down from the sky. Whoa. No way. <gasps> Baby Luma from Mario Galaxy 1? Triangle! X, X, triangle, triangle, X, question mark, exclamation point. The strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Well, you know, Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. Triangle, triangle, um, shake to spin. So, it's basically the same exact controls as Mario Galaxy 1. Well, it's not basically, it, it pretty much is. So, yeah. That's kind of it. What's this? Was this one of the little fellow's friends? Hi, Luma. Phew, I'm free, but where am I? You're in the Mushroom Kingdom, silly. Welcome, Mario. Hey, Yellow Toad. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Wait. That- What's that scary sound? I don't know, what is it? So, if you don't know, I did a Let's Play of Mario Galaxy 1. Um. I don't know, a few months ago. One or two months ago, actually. I'm, I'm not even sure exactly how much it was. It's a monster! Yeah, it looks like Bowser. Like, he's ginormous. Why is Bowser so big? Oh my gosh. Where's the ship? I don't know. Uh oh. This does not look good. You're too late, Mario. The power of the stars is already mine. And look what else I got. Whoa. Help me. Okay, Peach, I will. I'm huge. Even scary up close, huh? Yeah, I think my, my Luigi Galaxy, it wasn't Mario Galaxy, it was Super Luigi Galaxy that I did. It was a few months ago. 
Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size. I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. Thank you, I will. So there are a, a, a good amount of differences. So far you can probably tell it starts out in like storybook fashion. But it's kind of the same, it's just one thing is different. Which we'll get to later. Hey Toad, I must save the princess. Okay, I will. Mario! Mario, where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her. Oh, Master Luma! Young Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see, so you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have enough... You have other things to worry about, like saving the princess, but how? I know, with young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. Just like in the last game, as thanks for saving our friends, we'll send you into space to get that monster. Now let's go after him. Okay, so I'm not going to be really explaining the controls too much. Because in Super Luigi Galaxy, I kind of ex most of it and look it looks exactly like it sky station galaxy peewee piranha's temper tantrum <gasps> peewee piranha doesn't that remind you of dino piranha that's what it reminded me of our power stars they're gone some gigantic mount monsters stole them but if you're going after that monster you might see our power stars out there too please bring our power stars back we lumas will help you along your way so I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to try to do this 100% to the best of my ability. Because I know there's one point in this game where it gets extremely difficult, um, but if I do do 100%, if you don't know, there's this thing in the game called Green Stars, and I'm not sure if I would get those, even though I'm pretty sure that's how you do 100%. But I'm gonna try. You know? That's all I that's all I, that's all you can ask for, right? At least I'm gonna try. Cause I know in the in the past I have promised that I do hundred percent for stuff and then I ended up not. Um some examples are Disney Universe, um Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tell you right now. That I cannot make any promises that this will be 100% because I've never 100%ed this game. I have beaten the, like, the main story, but I have never 100%ed it. But I haven't played this game in a few years, so maybe I'll be better at it now. Um, you know what? I want that one up. One up. You got an extra life. Perfect. Always need an extra life, you know? Yeah, we're gonna skip all that. <laughs> the other Lumas told me about you. Thanks thank you for helping us. I'm going to transform into a launch star. Come over and fly. Okay. I will do just that. So yeah. It's obviously very similar but i sh i think i should be able to do this game 100 percent because i do also have the um official guide actually i think it's a it's a prima guide but i'm i think prima is official right i think so i don't know they're getting more and more popular i don't think they were that popular when this game came out but i think they were still really popular So, unlike Mario Galaxy, I actually do have the game guide for this, and it tells me where all the green stars are, which is a really big help, because the green stars, if you don't know, are just in random places. So, I probably can easily 100% this game if I try. 
Also, now there's, like, checkpoint flags. I don't remember if that was in the first Mario Galaxy, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Come on. Oh, I almost missed it. So, over here, I'm not going to do all of these, but I might as well just show it off for the first episode. Pretty much, there's these bonus rooms that you can go into. Rainbow Mario. So, obviously, we're getting a lot of one-ups. And it pretty much just warps you back once you run out of the star. We got pretty much everything besides a few coins, but that doesn't really matter. Um, most of the enemies are also very similar. There are some new enemies. I'll go over them. Well, I might not go over them, but I'll point them out. I don't know literally everything about this game. The main enemy in this game is like the Octa Goombas and the Goombas, of course. The pretty, like, normal enemies, you know? Octa Goombas were pretty similar. That gives us a bunch of coins. And I believe if you get 50 coins, you get a 1-up. And if you get 50 star bits, you get a 1-up. I think we're at the end soon. Oh no, we have this. Okay, so something new in this game is, just to add to its linear, linear state, this game has... Ugh, just wait. Now wait a second. I'll wait until we get it. So this game has star medals, as you can see by that blank little thing. Sort of like star coins in the new Super Mario Bros. games. Just there's only one in each galaxy. So it's a little bit different. I don't think the star medal's actually on this one. I think it's on the next one. Oh, I almost just died there. That would have been pretty sad. Like, this is mostly blind for the most part. Like, I honestly don't remember most of this. I No, I remember this galaxy. But I don't remember, like... Probably past World 2. <laughs> I might. But, oh, they're not star medals. They're comet medals. Collect them to make comets appear. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Um... Yeah, this first level is just try trying to, like, introduce you to everything. Oh yeah, we also have life mushrooms. And that will give you six health instead of three. Just like in the first Mario Galaxy. I don't know, that might be the reason I didn't like this game as much, is because of it's so similar to the game that I played, like... A lot. Also, it's way easier to get 1-ups in this game, if you couldn't already tell. I have 16 1-ups. Which is a lot. So, this little Dino Piranha guy. No, Pee Wee Piranha. Sorry, I, I... I call this guy, like by the Dino Piranha name all the time. So, yeah. Because I'm a lot more familiar with Mario Galaxy 1, so. I think if you ground pound, yeah, it actually gets rid of two of the cycles. Like, normally you'd have to hit it, I think, two times, but I'm not sure. If you ground pound, it's a little bit stronger. I think. I don't know, let me try here. But star bits are a lot more useful in this game, so I highly suggest you get them. Because, um, you're gonna need a lot more star bits. Yeah, see, it actually breaks two of the shells, so that's really awesome. Come here. I think we killed him. Little Pee Wee Piranha's dead. So it's 
not really like Dino Piranha, but it's very similar. Like, the whole entire planet looks exactly the same as well. So there we go. Um, we got a star. I think this game might take me longer than Mario Galaxy, because I'm not as familiar with it. But, it might, it might take less, because... No, it, it's definitely going to take more if I do the green stars, but if I don't do them, then I don't know. I already have a lot of star bits. Holy camoly. Hello. Wow. So you're this Mario guy. My little Lumos won't stop blabbing about him, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this power star, though we need as many sorry, of these as we can get. The name's Lubba, by the by. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planoid, planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Truth be told, this ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster, too. He blasted us with meteors, and some of my crew were thrown overboard. So that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. You know what else is cold? That monster is stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from... stars. Without that, we're stranded here. Ayo, is that... is that... young... Master Luma? Is it? Isn't it? Wow. Wait, if you have the trust of young Master Luma, hmm, say I just might have a little propos- Sorry, I didn't read that part. <laughs> Hear me out now. You're special. Someone got kidnapped, and now you gotta save her, am I right? So it doesn't matter what one you pick, because they're both yes, pretty much. And we need fuel for our ship. Now if you think we could get us some of our stars back to us, I'll be willing to make this ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Yes. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything space sh ship shape. Well, if you insist. Well, thanks for tidying the place up for me. And now it looks like our face. Awesome, right? Starship Mario. Well, what do you think? No spaceship, yeah, I'm more like a faceship, har har. Well, at least you'll never lose in a parking lot, am I right? Har har. So what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario. Or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. I think we have time for... Oh, yeah, the game saves. I think we have time for one more mission. I think the next one's pretty, um, short, I think. Let's go. Yeah, son. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So this is pretty much the world map. So this is the world map. Yeah. You can... You can point at it. Yeah. I'm not gonna explain that. That's pretty straightforward. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go back to Sky, Sky Station Galaxy. Tend off the episode. Storming the Sky Fleet. So, one difference between Mario Galaxy 1 and Mario Galaxy 2 is in Mario Galaxy 2, you don't really see R Rosalina. And we don't have that great of an overworld. Well, we kind of had a, a really crappy overworld, actually. So there's no point in going. Dude. Okay. So, that was really good luck. Because I had absolutely no idea that was going to happen. But you know what? Who cares? Let's go. So I spent a lot of time getting star bits, so I'm not going to spend a lot this time. 
If I have to, I'll probably grind for star bits, because you, you will need them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now I can transform into a launch star. Just hop in and shake to fly. I think that's one thing that I really didn't like, is how you have to grind for star bits. That's why I was getting so much before. And it really makes this game so much longer, when it shouldn't be that long. I have to admit, if you're trying to 100% this game, it's no easy task. I mean, it's not, like, completely difficult, but it can be hard. So yeah, you can just kind of grind like this to get star bits. So yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go inside this thing. Okay, I just did that to get the one up. So I know I didn't get all those star bits, but I'm not gonna even attempt to get all of them, because that's just gonna take time. That we shouldn't be taking time to do that. There's no reason we need all those star bits. Even though in the end we probably will. So. I know I just missed something, but it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. I don't know why I think this game's harder, because I'm pretty sure it was meant to be easier. But for me, for some reason, I just think it's harder, okay? You get up here. Get some star bits. Here introduces Cosmic Mario. Which was kind of in Mario Galaxy 1. Just, you kind of, you raced Cosmic Mario and Mario Galaxy 1. In this game, you run from him. You don't actually race him. Because the levels are a lot more... Not... Raceable, I guess? I don't know. There are, there are still races in this game, though, but they're a little bit different. So we're near the end now. Oh no. I don't want to die. This guy- oh, dude. First hit, dude. I'm gonna kill you, Piranha Plant. Okay. So if we kill that guy, a key will appear and then open up the Power Star. Yeah, that level is pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna wait for this bullet bill to pass. And then we're gonna run. And there we go. I think that's all of the normal power stars in Sky Station Galaxy. Of course, if you remember comets, there's gonna be comets, green stars once you beat the game. So many stuff, dude. It also shows your best time for the levels, which is kind of cool. Wish I could give you more help than just cheering from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wii Remote can join up with you. Then one of my co-op Star Lumas. Yeah, they can help get Star Bits. If you want to ask a partner, you can. they can jump in. The partner does work better in this game, but I never really cared that much about it, so... I'm not gonna go into the next level, but I just want to check out the new overworld. So yeah, the next um, galaxy we're gonna be going to is the Yoshi Star Galaxy. That's pretty much it for this episode, so if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And... Like always, I'm Flaming Kong, and I'll see you next time. Bye.